Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be discussing the following topics. Creating a Java project, running the Java project or program, saving the project, closing the Java project, and how to open an existing Java project. This tutorial will be for students or individuals who would like to know Java programming for the first time. And the IDE to be used here is the NetBeans IDE 8.2. There are a lot of uh, versions for this, uh, newer versions, but in this case, I will be using the IDE 8.2 of NetBeans. Okay, but before that, please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so let's start off by creating a new project. Of course, you have to open your NetBeans first. Uh, I'm using here IDE 8.2. And so this will be the IDE or the integrated development environment that I'm going to use to write Java program. Okay, so let's create first a Java project. So how do we create a Java project? Meaning to say, I'm going to create a new Java program. So, whenever you want to create a Java program, you have to make or create a Java project. And so, to do that, all we need to do is to go to the file menu here. There is a new project here. And so, I'm going to click that one. Project means you can put or you can place there uh, different types of files. And so you can have there your main class, you can create Java class, and you can also play some other files that you need in that project. So in this case, for instance, the first step will be to select Java and you make sure that Java application is selected. And so I'm going to click next. And then here, there are so many things that you will do here I mean there are a lot of things that you can see here but three things that you will have to check first is your Java project that you will create so for example let's call it as my project one so in the first text box you just have to place here your the name of your project and then on the second text box you have to determine here or you have to place here where are you going to save your project? So in this case, there are, there is a folder here, I mean, a directory here. All right, so if I will not change this, it will save my project one here in this folder. But I need to change it, for instance. If you would like to change it, let's go to Browse. You can always change it to the folder where you want to save it. Let's say, for instance, I'm going to save it here in my drive D. So let's, okay, I have a folder here, YouTube video. Okay, so inside that YouTube video or YT videos, okay, I have a folder there. Okay, so go click open. There you go. So it will save here. So this is very basic. So this my project one will save uh, my files or this project one will save it or the NetBeans will save it here in this folder. Okay. If you don't have a folder yet there, you can create your own folder there first. So for instance here. So here it is. Okay, so Java. So I'm going to save it here folder all right 
so let me check it again so browse here java it will be somewhere here visual one i'm going to save it there don't play there you go you can always change it at any time just make sure that you have that project or that folder okay so i'm going to click the next thing is i'm going to remove this here create main class okay so so that it will create only the class no not without a package so it's like that so three things one here your project name project location and remove the check and then all you need to do is to click the next okay so you just have to wait a little bit of time can see it is getting ready here no? so you have now the project here it's like that no? so if you don't see this one here this project here it's not there right this project tab here if it, if it is not there all you need to do is to go to the windows here menu and you have you can click this one projects or press control one okay sometimes we accidentally close this one and so hey where can i find that so it's only here in the windows menu press control one or click projects and there you go okay, now if you will uh, see now your folder if you check your folder now where you created your project okay, you will find out that it created a folder my project one so it's there and so these are the files okay so if you want if you would like to open the pro uh, the program only you know, by if you don't have a netbeans ide you can just click the src here and you will see your java program here okay so src means the source so it's like so if you want to quickly to quickly see the code or the program that you created can just go here inside the src folder and it will be there but because we don't have yet the program so it's not going to be there and so let's go back here in our netbeans so as you can see there's nothing in there okay so i'm going to right click this one i'm going to create my java main class now so i'm going to click java main class here okay so don't create class because we're not yet there so java main class first so it will have the main class where you can write a simple Java program. If you're going to create a Java class, okay, you can click this one. Now, sometimes if it is for the first time that you will use your NetBeans IDE, the Java main class is not here from the list. All you need to do, if that is the case, click other and you will see it here. Just make sure that you select Java and then on the right side on the right pane or something like uh, this from here you will see here java main class so you can just click this one and click the next okay so that is what you will do if the java main class is not there so once once again right click here if it is not here click other if it is there just click java main class if it is not there again click other you make sure that it is java here and you can select java main class i'm going to click next now and then you have to provide your class name your java main class all right so it will be let's call it uh, i'm going to call it as project one okay so i'm going to click finish and it will create now my new Are now ready here line 18 you are now ready to create your java main program and again if you will see our folder you will see that we have now the project one code no? so once again we created it here in this folder right project one so it's there so open it src you will see no? quickly if you want to see your code 
just right click this and you can open it with any editor if you have notepad plus plus it's also fine you can also open it with notepad all right or any uh, ide okay text-based ide like for example if you have but notepad as you can see here uh, you can still open it or code block like for example me i have a code block here okay so if you would like to open it in notepad plus plus just click that notepad plus plus and there you go you can see all right and so i hope that uh, is very easy for you all right so let's try a simple one here let's say i'm going to say uh, we'll just just go to print system that out that print line let's say the usual testing hello world okay so be sure you have a problem okay so how do we how do we run the java program now so all you need to do is to go to the run menu you can you can select run project f6 so meaning to say it will run the whole project or you can just use this one here run file shift f6 that means the current you know, the current the java program because it's possible that you have many java program here or java class here or java program that you would, would like to run so if you're if you want a specific file to run you just go to that file here down here now it is possible that you have so many here run shift f6 and it should run the output is here right? so whatever is the output of your program it should reflect here in this area here the output and so it's there so i just printed hello world so it's there hello world okay so the usual way of saving is by going to the file can always save here right? you can click the save us or simply just press ctrl s from your editor here ctrl s okay so it's always save okay so it's going to be to be like that now how to close the project so to close the project all you need to do is to go to the file and close project if you have so many projects it is possible that you have many projects here so close all the projects okay so i'm going to click the false close all the projects and so as you can see there's nothing in there all right so i'm going to uh, open it again so open project okay so you can just go in that folder where you save it huh? so for instance um, can see I save it here huh? from the drive D YD video Java and then video one creating Java project so open project this is the icon for the creating the project I mean the project itself and then open. there you go it's open again another way to do that I think it will be something like this so let's say for example I'm going to close it first okay when you open your NetBeans IDE, by default, there is what we call the start page. Okay, it will be somewhere here. It will be like this. Okay, by default, when you open your NetBeans IDE, it has the start page, something like this. And all your recent projects that you created before, you know, recent projects are listed here. So if you remember the name of that project, you can just simply click that project here. So in this case, I think this is it. My project one so you just have to click it and there you go let's open again okay so again if if it is not there for example or you accidentally close it so how do you see that the startup page so, so click on the help menu start page there you go so again this start page is nothing but simply to uh, uh, give you 
a listing of the recent project that you created and some other important things that you can uh, start up here or read about something like that. So if you don't like to see this again, for now, you can just simply close it. And if you want to see it again, just go to the help menu, start page, and it's going to be there. Okay, so and so I think that's about it. How to create a Java project using the NetBeans IDE version 8.2. Okay, I hope you are able to understand what I have discussed it's actually easy it's actually easy especially if you are into programming before this one is very easy for our next videos I will be discussing some of the topics basic topics about Java and so watch out for that thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one